Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder. Today we're going to continue with water gym cup play. As you can see, I am, what am I, what am I, what am I? In the top 200, I have three consecutive wins. And this is not the deck that I'm going to use. I actually stole that deck from Kahinki. If you don't watch Kahinki or if you haven't found him on YouTube yet, go check him out. He's very good tactically, and he's super hyper aggressive, kind of the opposite of what I try to do. I try to play a little more control style game. He just rushes the goal, but he does it not recklessly. He does it very skillfully and very methodically, if you will. Go check out his videos. I will put a link to his page, maybe right here. And if not, definitely down in the description. So here's what I've got, Phantom. Sceptile, Verizian. Yeah, I know Zapdos is not a, a grass type, but he's a gold attacker and a free hurdle jump. Chestnut, and I've got Rayquaza in there. Again, I know he's not technically a grass type, but because the gym's been out for a few days, I'm anticipating people having Kyogre and wanting to try out Kyogres. And so if they do, I've got Rayquaza which will get the buff. And if you watched my video on Primal Rage, you'll understand why. And if not, go watch it after you're done with this video. How about that? We're gonna jump in. I haven't played any of these yet today. How's the gym going for you? Is this, this is a lot better than the grass gym for most people, I believe, because in the grass gym, if you didn't have Phantom or Verizian, they both could just almost walk all the way across the field at will. But at least now there are no super shuppets in this gym. And we're gonna go against a Chestnut two Sceptiles. Magikarp, Manaphy, two Magikarps. So Magikarp and Gyarados specifically are gonna be something to be reckoned with. So let's just see what we can do here. We are going to open, not with him, uh-oh, <laughs> oops. Well, here we go. That was, um, I see a major problem in this deck that I just put together for this video is I don't have a runner. That, that's, we're gonna have to adjust this before we play the next game. <laughs> this, this may not go well. That's kind of funny actually. I was gonna put Mew in, and I had Mew in Rayquaza's place, but then I thought, well, wait a minute. I can put in Rayquaza in case I go up against Kyogre, and that was the thought process behind that, and obviously this very well could have completely backfired on me. Um, he can only go two, so I'm gonna go ahead and press forward. And what what plates does he have? Because it might change my hurdle jump, hurdle jump, and go block. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna double chance. And all I'm looking for here is blue, because I want to be right up next to his entry point. I don't care about that. All we care about is the blue. Perfect. And Sceptile is so scary. If you saw that, 161, like that's evil. Now he's going to take probably this Magikarp and, oh, that's really interesting. Now I could, I could go for the win here. If I miss, I can still cover goal. I'm actually just going to double chance because I have the chain level over him. And let's see what happens. Oh. And we are going to get surrounded. That was a bummer. It didn't work out. Sometimes you take chances and sometimes they don't work. But that's okay because it was a calculated risk. He didn't have <clears throat> he didn't have access to my goal. And because I had 
The only thing he really could have rolled would have been the blue, which he did. But any other mirror match, I win. And then he has to hurdle jump with that. But I've got rid of one of his... Anyway, it didn't work out, so whatever. <laughs> Long story short, it didn't work out, so it doesn't matter what I had going. Unfortunately, I did use both of my double chances already, though. And that might come back to haunt me later. But of note, he did use his gold block already. So if, um, if he times out, I could be playing against the AI here pretty soon. I do have Phantom set to evolve. If you follow me on Twitter, last night I was testing whether Tre Treviant's passive. Treviant has the ability to, when you attack him, the opponents turn to grass types. So it got me thinking, does that mean his Gyarados, for example, would turn... Hold on one sec. Let me close off that, make him burn a hurdle jump. So it got me wondering, <clears throat> does that mean if, um, what do I want to do? If say I turned his Gyarados into grass, does he get the three MP movement on top of, <clears throat> sorry about that. On top of the, ooh. And what do I want to do here? I think, I think I just try to get rid of this. Nice, nice, nice. Anyway, I was, here's my thought before he plays again. Does the Gyarados get the 3 MP boost from being water type? And does he get the plus 20 attack from being grass type? And I think the answer is no. Um, but the only one that I really got to try that on was... What is he doing? I don't really know. I'm kind of confused here. I'll finish that thought later because I really, I'm kind of, oh, I guess he's going to trap my phantom. Okay. Guess I'm in a world of hurt if he hurdles over there. I still have my goal block. I don't have a whole lot on defense. Could I actually slide him back in case he decides he wants to hurdle jump with Sceptile? <laughs> I don't think um, Rayquaza here can take out Sceptile. Ooh. Much rather have had the, the gold there than the, the purple, but one ten. Okay, well, let's um. He's gonna let me walk up to his goal. I'm gonna take that. Oh, again with the dodge. Very fortunate for him. Very fortunate for him again. Ooh, not so fortunate. And now all he has is hurdle jump, which is gonna do him no good. That could be game, because I Okay. I wonder if he disconnected and I was playing the AI there. <laughs> that was kind of funny actually. So we're gonna take the victory. I think maybe I need to 
go in and put in Mew. And I don't know, is it worth it to... What could I replace with Mew? I'm definitely gonna edit the figures. Kind of liked how everybody was, was working there, but I think Rayquaz has got to go. We're gonna put in Mew as the runner here. Then we're gonna jump right back in. Nice victory there. As you can see, I've bumped my coins up to 47,000 to get my Empoleon to level five and erase the mist completely. I think I need 56. So I'm just looking for about 11,000 more in coins. Oh, look at that. He's got the Kyogre in there. Bummer. And he, he's going first, so me not having a runner actually would have been just fine. That's a bummer. Definitely going to be using... I need to craft some kind of a deck to use that has either Kyogre, which would be my water deck, or Rayquaza, or... Um, or uh, um, why can't I think crowd on? All right. So what we're gonna do? This is actually a, a very potent team, offensively that I'm facing here with double manaphies. The um, the Kyogre is gonna be doing serious damage. I'm actually going to. I noticed uh, Kahinki does this move as well, but I actually learned this from Care Bear. And that gets one of the threats eliminated quickly. And he's gonna do that, which is fine. Go ahead. Basically, the reason why he did that is he didn't want me going up to Manaphy and double chancing and trying to get the Typhoon Slash onto the goal. But I got rid of one of his bigger power threats with that maneuver, so I'm definitely happy about that. Does he have left? Maybe should have taken Phantom and dropped him on the back line. As a defender, especially if I could trigger the evolution because in this gym, instead of being super shuppet, he does have 60 instead of the 40 attack. Cool. 170. That's not gonna pay out for him this time. <laughs> I've got them all boxed in. Oh, bummer. Bummer, bummer. Guess I'll bring Kyogre back down. But that's not going to end up working out for him. What does he have? Double chance, exit. Oh, he might max revive him and bring him right back out, though. Chestnut's actually a really decent piece in the gym. Instead of being 90, he's a 110. He's going for the crush. Nice. That's not so nice, actually. <laughs> I um. Maybe could have gone over here. I don't know. Yeah, there he goes.
And we will now, I'm gonna bring Phantom over here to cut off his lane. He doesn't seem to like being pinned in over there, which I don't think I blame him. He's gonna hurdle jump in the next attack. And because he has the hurl jump, I'm not going to get too close. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll put him on the corner, bring up Mew. Good thing about Mew is he pretty much counters all of his heavy hitters here. Man, I wish Phantom was a 3 MP. If I wish any of these were 3 MP over here, because that would have been a great surround. I guess this hill. Okay, never mind. Um, maybe overextending myself there, putting him deep into their territory. And I also don't know that, looking at this, I don't know that I have enough. Um, I'm actually going to go block so that he doesn't hit his blue and jump onto my goal. But I don't know that I have enough firepower to knock out his Pokemon unless they roll miss or if I can get Verizian. I may need to get Verizian into some action here where he um oh so so sad where he can utilize his grass knot and all these monster hitters will um be knocked out instead of Parisian. Definitely wish I had the Rayquaza out here though. See, there, that was great. Now we will threaten this around. I might bring Kyogre back one. No. I'm doing really well on time. So if I can stall him out a little bit, I don't know what plays I have. Guess I could go after Manaphy. That's not that big of a deal. I'm actually going to try to take out this Manaphy. Perfect. Barely, but perfect. Okay, so that. That took a little bit of a chunk out of the damage that he's able to do, although Sceptile is still very formidable. I'm actually happy with a Roost in this situation. What I'm not happy with is... Still have my Hurdle Jump. If I get knocked out, I'm going to have a hard time getting any Pokemon back on the field.
kind of stuck with Verizian at the moment. I can't come back and attack Sceptile with him because if I miss, then Magikarp has an easy surround. There he is with the blue again. And, um, and he takes my entry point. Mew is kind of stuck where he is. Okay, I can actually live with that. I'm actually okay with that move right there, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> Meanwhile, his clock is just ticking down. Usually I'm the one at 120 and my opponent's at three minutes. So when you're playing, you have to think about what are my win conditions? And, you know, one of your win, who gold onto his purple would be great here. Didn't happen though. One of your win conditions is obviously capping goal. Then you have weight loss, but you can also weight win. Which side of the board do I want to bring? And if it becomes apparent that you're super high on time compared to your, oh, that was a super fortunate spin right there. That you either, A, for whatever reason, you can't beat your opponent, but you're way ahead on time. One of your win conditions becomes having a sound defense. And with your sound defense, you also have to continue to maintain some offensive pressure on your opponent. Because typically, if you back off completely, it, it seems like all of a sudden the floodgates open. Ooh. Do I want to do that? No, I think I like being on that side of him still. That's not a good matchup for him if I don't roll white. And I didn't. If you back off completely, it's, it seems that all of a sudden you lose momentum. <clears throat> so I don't want to back off completely, but I want to force him into making decisions on that are going to take time. Because the more he spends thinking about decisions, the less time he can spend attacking my goal. And he's kind of getting desperate now. Down to 42 seconds. Still a lot of work to be done here. Um, I can't go there, I can't go there. If I go, what does he have? I think he just has X attack. So if I go there, then he could roll hurricane or whatever, storm. So I'm just gonna move one. Because if I go over more and he rolls storm, then I lose both and he takes my entry point. Nice. Would have rather knocked him out actually but I can definitely live with that. And the reason why I did this with Mew is now he has to think, wait, what is Mew doing? Where's Mew going? And the more time that he's doing that, and if I win this right here, He was going to get surrounded. Do 
Just hope he doesn't roll storm here. Okay. That's that's fine. I do have double chance hurdle jumps. That means nothing. And honestly, Mew is a great counter to Gyarados. So that is actually not that big of a deal. Because he's going to attack. As long as I don't roll white, I can't lose. I'd love just to take... Ooh. Beautiful. That was super, super fortunate. So he's down to 17 seconds. He can't really attack Mew. Safely, anyways. Um, as long as he keeps rolling Hyper Beam... Ooh, this is bad, actually. Okay, good. I actually need to back Mew off because had he attacked and rolled Storm, that would have been disastrous. So we're going to shut down Manaphy there. And if Sceptile lives through this, I may just start going towards his goal. Ooh, nice. Good job, Sceptile. Probably gonna roll your blue, roll your blue. That's not even close to rolling a blue. Six seconds. A couple of storm rolls here, and I'm in, in a world of hurt. I'm actually going to let him have my entry point. Two seconds. Probably going to be a weight win. I don't know that he can get off three attacks. And two. Ooh. Ouch. Time up win. Beautiful. So sometimes, sometimes you just have to play enough defense to win. And that's what happened today. So we're up to five in a row. I'm not opening this. And the reason is because... I need coins. I need ingots. And so the ingots get better as you get higher win rates. And the video is already almost a half hour long. So it's kind of, I try to keep them under a half hour if at all possible. So that will do it for the end of this episode. If you're watching this early, I'm going to try to live stream in a couple of hours. And then I'm also working on a collaboration with Choctopus. So go check out his YouTube channel as well for that collaboration. And until next time.